What's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another edition of Funko News. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done two Funko News videos in the same weekend, but there is good reason for it, and it is because of the Fun Days event. That's going to be the main focus of this video. I do want to share um, basically the images that they had at that event, and uh, not too many surprises necessarily because a lot of what they showed has been rumored for a while, but like I said, I still would like to share this with you all. So uh, this edition of Funko News was recorded as of very early morning on July 22nd 2018 now let me go ahead and get the bad news out of the way because this is a rumor that keeps popping up and it really is just collectors putting it out there without anything to really go on so once again the rumor has been dispelled that Nintendo pops are on the way and this is coming from the CEO himself so if anybody knows he knows and he, he basically expressed that this is something that he would like to happen but Nintendo is just not willing to license out their characters to Funko, at least right now. You know, I'm not saying it'll never happen, but at least right now, it's not something that Nintendo is willing to do. And let me remind everybody again that Pikachu and Pokemon have nothing to do with, with Nintendo's licensing. Pokemon is its own company. Even though they have a partnership with Nintendo, their licensing is separate. So do keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, like I said, you know, right now um, the CEO is encouraging fans to reach out to Nintendo and let it be known that, you know, a lot of uh, Funko Pop collectors would love to see Nintendo characters as Pops. You know, maybe that would convince Nintendo, but I don't know. You know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now, for people that are still looking for SDCC figures, uh, just stay on the hunt. Remember that retailers, including online retailers, continue to do some restocks. So don't give up on figures if you missed out on some. I'm not going to read the information to the left side of the screen here because I did cover it last time. So if you missed that last video, you can go back and check it out or you can pause and read here. But I mainly want to focus here on the right hand side of the screen. So as far as the Funko Shop is concerned, three items that are still available right now are the Cap and Crunch Dwarves 4 Pack, Yummy Mummy Plus Fruit Brute Vinyl 2 Pack, and the Quick Draw McGraw plus Baba Louie vinyl two pack. So those became available as of Saturday morning, which was the 21st, and they're still available. So not a whole lot of interest in those, but if you personally are interested in them, you should be able to go ahead and grab those quickly. And then um, as of tw the 22nd, and this is mainly for people who are watching this video right away, because if you're watching this video after this time, these figures are gone. But as of uh, the 22nd, on the Funko pop-up shop at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tiki Watiti and um, the Nux car should go up for sale. So again, if you're watching this after that time, those figures are gone. But if you're watching this right away, that means you do have a chance to try for those. I also want to put it out there because this was a note that was made on the Funko shop that because... They have had so many items available over the past couple of days and they have a lot to ship out that shipping could be slower. So if you're um, waiting on something, you may have to just be a little more patient about that. But, um, you know, it's, it's on the way. Just realize that it may be a little bit later than expected. So I shared previously that there are Coraline Pops on the way to the left here. You see some better images of those pop figures. This is still not an official reveal from Funko. Um, once they actually do the official reveal and we get more information about these, of course, I will update you all. I still feel like, you know, from what they have so far, some really great designs. Of course, they could do potentially more side characters. We'll have to wait and see if they choose to do that or not. But if you're a fan of the movie um, or even just a fan of the book, definitely make sure you pick these figures up if you're interested. You know, so Funko will be encouraged to do more figures um, of Coraline and also, you know, figures like this in general, you know, of movies that may not be blockbusters, but still a lot of people have love for them. Um, also, the upcoming Alita movie, um, which is Alita Battle Angel, is based off of, I, I believe, an anime and maybe even before that a manga. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, um, they're going to be pops based off of that movie, at least three variants of the main character. Um, this is not an official reveal just yet. You know, of course, once I learn more, I will share. And I think I mentioned this previously, but just putting it out there again, that there are Wyona Earp pops on the way as well. Definitely no release date, no... Um, you know, no artwork, anything yet for those. So, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Okay, now, like I said, the main focus of this is going to be um, about the Fun Days event, 
which is a great event for Funko Pop collectors that are able to make it in there because, of course, they get a lot of great opportunities to take home a lot of exclusive items. So, really cool event. I did watch the live stream, the live stream, and I had been encouraging people to check out the live stream, and I got a kind of a feeling that there are some people that are kind of kicking themselves for not checking out the live stream. And I understand that some people had to work. You know, some people were tied up for various reasons, but. You know, for people that actually did watch, I think it was definitely worth it. Now, I got to say that watching it at home, of course, it did drag at times. And uh, I think it was much more entertaining for people there actually in the room. Of course, they're excited because they're getting a lot of items. But I'll give props to Funko because with this being their first time doing this as a live stream, a lot of things could have gone wrong. And there were like little minor hiccups. But overall, I think they did a good job with this event and I think that the prom theme worked very well also and um, I know they're supposed to have a, uh, a replay up I'm not sure if that's still available or not but um yeah I'm, I'm glad that I did check it out especially because of the opportunity that they had which I will address in a little bit here now for people that were actually in attendance of course they got some very awesome items and um I know Stranger Things fans that were not able to attend are kind of upset about missing out on certain figures especially the Scoops Ahoy, Steve and Robin based off of the upcoming season um yeah that that's just tough but that's what happens with fun days there's always going to be things that people wish that they could have gotten you know that aren't available to the public at large but I would say, you know, let's wait and see what happens with the season three pops. There are some that I'm going to share here in just a moment, and there could be potentially more, maybe even variants of, um, you know, them in these outfits. Maybe they could switch it up. Who knows? Maybe they could do Steve in this outfit, but with the hat. Technically, that's a different variant, you know. So, um, you know, let's just wait and see what happens with that. Now, David Harbour, who actually plays Hopper, he actually did show up at the event. And by the way, the um, actor that plays Steve, he sent a video message. And then the actress that plays the character Robin actually showed up as well. But yeah, David Harbour, who plays Hopper, was there. And he actually had with him some gold, har some gold Hopper pop figures. Excuse me. And there's only 40 of them. So 40 um, lucky people at the event actually got these gold hopper figures which is kind of crazy you know and then um everybody at the end of the night they were given a box that contained a freddy funko stranger things variant so i think there were um two steve um figures um i think will was one of them and we, yeah, will's pictured here and then the other one is dustin i don't have dustin pictured here but i think those were the four um possible figures that people could have gotten out of that box there and then also people at the event had the opportunity because they did play some games in different um, groups, won different figures. So they could have won one of four figures, the Ray Gun Purple Alien Freddy Funko, the Yoda Freddy Funko, the Danny Zuko from Greece Freddy Funko, or David Hasselhoff based off his appearance in Baywatch uh, Freddy Funko. So this is something that they do at this event mainly. They focus on their mascot Freddy Funko mashing him up with other characters so yeah like i said everybody at this event got um you know one of these figures here and uh, there's more of course they also got this boom box of course it's like a, a cardboard um boom box that they opened up and it has some small items inside and it also came with a proto which if you're you don't if you're not familiar with what that is it's basically um an unfinished pop figure that hasn't been painted yet it hasn't gone through the um you know the final painting process and all of that so those are very tough for people to get their hands on. They're very valuable. And yeah, that's definitely cool that everybody in attendance did get a random one. I have the Pennywise one pictured here in the bottom right. But remember, everybody got a different random one. So here is the opportunity that really made this event worth checking out. Um, now, everybody in attendance did get one of these boxes that was shaped like a locker. And when you opened it up inside, there were three random Freddy Funko variants. Again, everybody in attendance got this. But also on the live stream, they announced that there was a URL set up and they gave a password as well to get in onto the website. And uh, you go to that URL, you check it out, and they had one of these boxes available for $50. And again, you get the three Freddy Funko variants. That is a good deal. And um, if you don't believe me, go to eBay and see what's going on there. Go and check out how much these boxes are selling for and also go check out how much the individual pops are selling for. So... Yeah, $50 for three of these uh, variants, 
really good deal and it's very awesome that they made this available for people outside of the event now some people that went to the event might not be a big fan of that but you know regardless these figures are still um, pretty rare pretty small numbers overall so yeah there is a lot of value to be had with them now as far as the different um, variants that were available they did include um, various chrome pops there were at least five different um, chrome pops there were two glow-in-the-dark 8-bit pops uh, there was a green one and a blue one um, there were also mashups with Kurt Cobain Pennywise, which uh, that Pennywise one, my goodness, I, I would really love to have that one. Um, also, the Devil from Cuphead, which I shared this in a previous video that this was a possibility. And um, that one is uh, was in um, two different colors. And there was more than that. And uh, yeah, like I said, just an amazing opportunity for people that watch the live stream. And of course, like I said, everybody in attendance got one of these as well. Very awesome. So here's a closer look at some of those items. You see the chrome pops up there at the top, um, which, yeah, <laughs> chrome is the big thing right now with Funko, and I definitely think it looks great on, um, you know, Freddy Funko himself. Uh, you also see the astronaut ones where it's kind of a mashup between him as a robot and him as an astronaut, kind of... I don't, I don't know how I feel about that design necessarily. I mean, they do look cool. It's just I don't quite get the concept. I, I Maybe that's what it is for me personally. Um, you see the blue 8-bit pop there. You also see some Pez uh, dispensers, which people that were in attendance were able to get those as well. It doesn't come along with the box. At least I don't think so. But, um, you know... Um, yeah, people that were in attendance actually got Pez dispensers, and I will talk some more about those later on. And there in the bottom right, I really like these uh, figures here because um, if you think about what they're wearing, you see Freddy Funko and the, the tuxes, basically one is blue, one is orange. Of course, that that's a reference to Dumb and Dumber. They don't say that directly. I don't know if there's going to be like Dumb and Dumber figures but that is obviously a reference to dumb and dumber and i think that is pretty cool so again these are some of the variants that were available um in that box of fun that's what they called it the box of fun and I, again that was a pretty awesome opportunity for people that did check out the live stream oh and of course that box is sold out it is sold out and second market is insane right now now, along with this event, of course, they shared um, some upcoming figures also. And we already knew because I shared it last time that Fortnite pops were on the way. And here is the design for the first pop that they are going to release, or at least this will be within the first wave of pops that they do for Fortnite. Of course, there are going to be more, but this is the only one that they have revealed thus far. And like I said last time, these pops should start to um, show up around the holiday season and there will be pocket pops and apparel as well. As well. When they say apparel, I'm assuming maybe pop tees. You know, we'll see what happens with that. Now, I got to say this before I move on. I know that some people are not fans of Fortnite. Okay, you don't have to buy these pop figures. There is no reason to hate on it though. Funko is a company that needs to make money, so they're not always going to do something that you are a fan of. It just doesn't work that way. So if you don't like the Fortnite pops, again, you know, just don't buy them. Don't worry about them. Very simple. Okay, then also, um, there were several celebrities in attendance at the event, including Kirk Hammett of Metallica fame. Um, and he is... He, he basically runs, if you saw the documentary, then you already know that he basically runs like a museum and he really is a lover of um, horror. So he's going to get these mashup pops of him with Frankenstein and him as the creature from the Black Lagoon. And these will be available at the Royal Ontario Mu Museum in Canada. So that's the only place that I know that these figures will be available. I can't remember if they said anything about when they actually will become available. You know, of course, if I learn more about those, then I will share. But um, I got to say, I think it is cool that, you know, this is a, a Canadian exclusive there. So that is pretty awesome. Now, let's get into the, um, you know, the images that they shared of upcoming figures. And like I said, a lot of this had already been rumored previously. But and I'm not going to name every single figure. I'm just going to run through this kind of quickly. And of course, you can pause if you like to, um, you know, check things out closer. So starting off here with Stranger Things, you see the pops there in the upper left. 
Um, I, you definitely see one that had been rumored previously, which is Dustin in the hockey gear and everything, you know, getting all prepared to uh, fight off, you know, the Demogorgon. And um, there in the upper right, you also see some, I guess they would call these like TV moments or something instead of movie moments. But um, yeah, I like those as well, especially Eleven in the classroom against the Demogorgon. That's pretty awesome. You also see that they're going to do some five star figures. Of course, they do come with accessories. And you notice that Eleven does come with her wig. And of course, they had to give her the Eggos also. And then you see that vinyl two pack there of Steve and Dustin again prepared to fight the Demogorgon. I really like the look of that vinyl two pack there. Next up here, of course, there's more Harry Potter figures on the way, and I think um, I think most of these have uh, been listed previously, rumored to be on the way, so I don't think there's any real surprises there. And I'm not super familiar with some of these characters, so I'm sure that some things stand out here more for people that are very familiar with them. Then also, we knew that Trading Places Pops were on the way. That's something else that had been rumored previously. You see that there, I think there's actually more there than we thought would be um, for that movie. Also, you get a look here at the Die Hard Pops. And remember that um, Hans Gruber, I think his uh, exclusive is going to be with GameStop if that rumor turns out to be true. Next up here, of course, there are more Nicktoons pops on the way. Really glad to see An Angelica on the way. And she is actually holding her doll. Uh, what is Malibu Stacy? I think is the name. That's pretty cool. And, of course, the dog from Rugrats as well. And, um, yeah, you see the wild thornberries there. Some more Hey Arnold on the way. So, yeah, that is cool. They are doing more with um, Nickelodeon. Uh, you see the next wave of Rick and Morty figures there. And I'm not going to point all these out. But if you're familiar with the series, you know, you recognize some of the characters there. Definitely good to see Noob Noob. I feel like they had to make him as a pop. Uh, the Married with Children Pops, yes, they are legit. You see those in the bottom left. And they do have a Chase variant of Peggy Bundy there. It looks like it's just going to be a different color variant um, for the top there. And do notice that a lot of this is just concept art, not the actual pop. So, of course, there are no release dates with any of this stuff right now. I do want to put that out there. No release dates. We'll have to wait and see what happens. And, of course, we'll also have to wait for the official reveals that show us the actual pop figures. Um, you also see here the Brady Bunch. Remember, they're just starting off with six of the characters from the series. I'm sure, you know, if these do well, they will do the rest. That just makes sense, you know. But yeah, they're just starting off with those six characters there. Next up here, more Aladdin on the way. The Magic Carpet Ride, I know that has been rumored. Also, Genie with the Bottle had been rumored previously. So, yeah, it seems like a lot of the rumors that have been going around are panning out to be true. Uh, you also see some Aladdin mystery minis there in the upper right. Uh, the Austin Powers, that one, you know, has been um, talked about for a while. And I feel like that they... Um, there was also rumored to be a Fembot on the way, so I don't know if that one is still happening or not. You know, we'll have to wait and see. You see the Zoolander pops here, and there actually is a Chase variant of Mugatu. Um, so, you know, that's kind of interesting. It's actually Mugatu with his uh, little poodle there. And then some vinyl two packs. Uh, I know some people are not crazy about these. I personally like them though. But you see these vinyl two packs here. They got the Star Wars one there, of course, with Leia and Luke. Um, they had the vinyl two pack there of the Bombshells, Batgirl and Wonder Woman. They got the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer um, vinyl two pack. They also have a Cuphead vinyl two pack on the way. Next up here, if you're a fan of Fallout, you see that they have a new wave of pops on the way out. And um, as far as these exclusives are concerned, of course, we don't know where they're going to be, but more than likely GameStop, you know, it just makes sense. And then you also see some more um, Fallout mystery minis there in the upper right. And they are going to do five star figures for Fallout as well. Now, what's really cool, I think this is one of the best reveals from the Fun Days event, are these spastic plastic characters here in the bottom right. I don't actually know their names. I'm not familiar with them. I don't know if they are on um, our previous characters or completely new designs or not, but I love the designs of them. They look pretty awesome, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing those and hopefully, fingers crossed, they won't be too difficult to get. And there are some more, um, well, actually, let me start here with the vi another vinyl um, two-pack here. It's going to, and I'm not sure exactly how these characters are going to be split up. I feel like I shared that in a previous video. But you see that there are going to be Nightmare Before Christmas vinyl two-packs. And then um, some more five-star figures here are going to be from Aladdin. I love the horror ones here. I think the horror ones look pretty awesome. Of course, they got Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Chucky from Child's Play, and Pennywise. Um, those look pretty cool. I, I do like those. And then they also have some Fallout 5-star figures on the way. 
Next up here, of course, more ad icons on the way. So um, yeah, it looks like Hostess is gonna have more representation from ad icons. Buzz B from Cheerios and the Pillsbury Doughboy. I don't think that one had even been rumored. So that is pretty cool that they are making him. I know he's one that I had on my list as something I would like to see made. Um, and then as far as the, um, you know, General Mills is concerned, excuse me there, General Mills is concerned, looks like they're going to do some um, drinking glasses for them, and then they had these uh, pop teas on the way for Cap and Crunch and um, Bazooka Joe, that Bazooka Joe one, I feel like I have seen that before, I don't know if I shared it previously or not though, and there are going to be more Funko's cereals on the way, including um, featuring, you know, these characters here, Elvira, Pac-Man, Lion-O, which is really awesome. And then um, from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, you see the main characters there. So um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And at Decon, they actually are going to present some of their new cereal. So yeah, this is pretty cool that they're, they're moving forward with um, Funkos doing even more with them. Now with Pez, there is a lot going on. They've talked about this partnership for a good while, actually, um, doing Pez. I feel like I've been hearing about this since last year around convention time if i'm not mistaken but uh yeah finally it's you know it is happening here and they had a lot of reveals for pez and you notice that the top row here it says wave one then we got wave two and wave three so really no dates with these it just you know it makes it obvious that these are going to come out you know spaced apart from each other to make it easier for collectors so i'm not going to run through all the characters i'll just point out a few things here you see there with wave one of course they got cap and crunch uh represented and then some other characters associated with him they got marvel there going on um also within that first wave including stan lee uh, wave two has doctor who represented nightmare before christmas mega man and crash bandicoot uh, wave three you know we got some hannah barbera going on there with huckleberry hound the golden girls as well and um yeah, overall, like I said, you know, I, I think uh, these are pretty awesome. They got some Star Wars ones there, too. I noticed those. I'm not overlooking those. But, yeah, overall, um, I don't collect uh, Pez. But for people that are really into this, these are some great options. You know, I, I know there are some Pez collectors out there. So it is really cool to see all these different options going on. Um, definitely like the Marvel ones that they added in there. And the Golden Girls, I think, are pretty cool also. So as far as spoilers are concerned, they did drop a hint at fun days event but it was basically a spoiler even though it was a full wasn't a full-on reveal so i am going to share um basically what's going to be the main item in the marvel uh, collector core deadpool box now again it's not a full-on image of what it's going to be but it pretty much gives away what the main item is going to be so if you don't want to be spoiled on that deadpool box at all if you ordered it you're waiting you're waiting and you don't want to see anything definitely make sure that you tune out of this but in my opinion, I think it's kind of good to know because this box is still available and this might affect, you know, some people's buying decision. So if you're still with me, let me go ahead and get to this reveal that they shared. So this is the hint that they put out there and there's really nothing subtle about it. I mean, it's Deadpool on a unicorn. Now, it's funny because this is something that I wanted to see for a long time and they finally do it and I'm not really into collecting Deadpool as much now. So I actually think I might personally pass on this box, but um, who knows? I might end up seeing this and uh, if it's still available, maybe go back and get it if I really like the design. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But like I said, this box is still available for order. Just go to Amazon's website, look it up. Very easy to find there. Very easy if you are interested in that. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Yet another Funko News video in the same weekend. And um, I wanted to be a little bit sooner with this video, but honestly, I'm exhausted. You know, so I did my best as I could with this. And hopefully this video will help some people to get that reminder to check out the Funko Shop. Like I said, if you are seeing this right away. But yeah, thank you all for checking this video out. And I will talk to you all again real soon.